Hey, what's going on guys? I am starting another carve today. It is going to be for a giveaway that I'm doing starting December 15th. So I've got a 16 by 16 piece of wood. I'm going to go ahead and tape it down with the CNC tape and get this carve going. I already made the file. I drew it in Procreate, exported it into Easel, and uh, here we go. I of course have to switch the bit because I always have the 90 on there, but I'm going for the 60 because there's a lot of fine lines in that drawing. Let me show you what it looks like real quick. All right, so this is the design that I made in Procreate. I brought it into Illustrator. I did some tweaks. I added the words Merry Christmas to it. And I set it all up to carve um, a quarter inch deep on most of the areas. And you can see I have a lot of fun material being removed from the text, so it's gonna look really cool. So I've already taped down my board and I'm gonna go ahead and put my probe on the CNC. I'm going to attach the magnet to the collet and then I'm gonna to go to the machine, uh, to the one foot monitor, and I'm going to click to probe Z. So we're gonna go ahead and click that. It's gonna have you tap the probe to the tip of the bit. Then we're gonna hit continue now that it's green and it's gonna lower down and it is gonna tap twice boom boom and now we have our z probe so what's left is to put the bit in the corner of my wood so i can do the x and the y and again i just align the tip straight in the corner then i tap the little flex so that it's zero zero and then we don't have to worry about z because we already did that so we are ready to carve all right so the last carve i had in here was the goonies carve so we're just gonna go ahead and get rid of that and we're gonna open up a new folder. You can see the Gremlins one has already been located. It's going right to the same jump drive I always use. I'll hit open. That's gonna load in the G code. We've already zeroed down our bit and it's exactly where we need it to be. So now we're just going to wait for this to upload. It's all loaded, so we're just gonna go ahead and turn on our machine. So, one, play. All right, so we're gonna check on that in a bit. And here we are about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes later, we've got our outlines and our text going and everything's looking great. And you're gonna see here that I vacuum in between um, just to make sure the chips don't get crazy. I will be adding a dust control system very soon. So that's coming. All right, the carb just finished up for the grandma. Let's take a look at it. It looks really cool. All right, so let's take a look at this thing. It came out so good. I'm so impressed with how the letters came out. Everything looks very crisp, and I am super excited. Look at those details. Like, whew. All right, time to pop it out. All right, so it is all set with the Marsh ink, and it is ready to get sanded. So I'm just going to get that off of there, and now we are ready to get the paint going. So here it is, all gorgeous. Here is my inspiration. Let's get it going. All right, so I'm using acrylic paint that has been watered down to do all of the base coats. And you can see that they, you can see the grain still, and that's my desired goal. So I'll do my base coats and then go in with my shadows. As you can see, like the black has like a nice little um, grayish look to it to where I would wanna kind of imitate fur. And then I'll go in with white, which I have not watered down, and I'll do all of the detail work. You don't want to water down your paint for any of the detailed lines because it will bleed and it won't give you that desired crisp line. Um, here you can see I use my finger as well as a tool um, to kind of help blend the shadows when I want to have it more of a rough, um, kind of like dry brush look as well. Um, it just really helps me shape things. So I'll go in, I'll do it with the paintbrush, and then I'll hit it with my fingers as well. Um, but a lot of layering of different colors go in to each piece. And again, when you see the white is out, that means that that area is done. And now I'm just going in with highlights. I will also do this with black paint. Um, and that, again, is just to define areas. But the finished outcome is only as good as the time that you put into it. So take your time and have fun and paint. And if you have any other questions for me about painting, let me know. Thanks so much for watching. Please let me know in the comments below what you want to learn next and if you want me to go more in detail on how I set up my files, how I draw and procreate, how I illustrate, um, just let me know. We can talk about that as well. And if you want me to go into more depth of painting and things like that, let me know. But here is our finished piece. And I'm pretty, pretty excited about him. 
I actually made myself a little mini version of it. So I'm going to be painting this soon for myself. But if you uh, follow me on Instagram, you're going to have a chance to win this guy. So check it out. December 15th, he will be going up for a giveaway. So make sure you follow us here and over there. And by us, I mean this, this handsome devil and myself. Anyways, have a great day. Let me know what you want to learn. And until next time, thank you. Goodbye.